The status quo of more reckless spending in Washington. This house is a real thing, but it's not the worst thing. The worst thing is keeping in place the Biden, Pelosi, Schumer. This is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I reserve the balance of my time. General Lady Reserve, gentleman from Texas is recognized. I yield up to two minutes, my friend from Virginia. Gentleman is recognized for two minutes. Mr. Speaker, I stand here today again opposing the status quo of more reckless spending in Washington. This House is supposedly run by Republicans, and yet here we are continuing to pass the Pelosi, Biden, Schumer spending levels and the policies connected to them, predictably with a majority of Democrat votes. As a matter of fact, this morning, I had a Democrat member tell me in a private conversation, he likes it when we're in charge because nothing changes, but we get the blame for it because we have the majority. Our national debt continues to skyrocket. Uh, we're at nearly $35 trillion. That's a number that's hard to grasp. It's actually more than $100,000 per citizen, and that figure just grows by the day. Biden inflation is further exacerbating the crisis, and the Congressional Uniparty is perpetuating it on a daily basis. Thankfully, we may be getting some future relief with the just announced resignation of the Democrat minority leader in the Senate, but some of us here in the House we came here to actually represent the American people, to do what we said we would do. And we did not mean constantly kicking the can down the road, passing more continuing resolutions that hurt the American people. Many people in this body are scared of a government shutdown. And I will acknowledge a government shutdown is not the ideal thing, but it's not the worst thing. The worst thing is keeping in place the Biden, Pelosi, Schumer policies that are destroying the country and bankrupting our kids and our grandkids. Worse yet, they're keeping in place the border invasion, the very invasion that we campaign against, the very invasion that is the greatest threat to our country. But that's what's going to happen here today. We're going to fund that border invasion for another week as a bridge to another spending bill that will keep all the policies in place and actually increase them over the Pelosi Schumer levels from back before we had the majority. We could have passed a, a full-year stopgap spending bill that would have cut $100 billion. We could have attached to it border security to stand up for the American people. As a bonus, that would eliminate thousands of earmarks for tens of billions of dollars more. But here we are today. True leadership involves making difficult decisions. Cutting spend is difficult. That's why nobody does it here. But when will the debt matter in this chamber beyond a campaign talking point? I urge no, and I yield back. Chairman, you status quo of more reckless spending in Washington. This House is... Mr. Speaker, I stand here today again opposing Pelosi, Biden, Schumer spending levels and the policies connected to them, predictably with a majority of Democrat votes. As a matter of fact, this morning, I had as nothing changes, but we get the blame for it because we have the majority our national people, to do what we said we would do. And we did not mean constantly kicking the can down the road. This is recognized. Mr. Shley, we may be getting some future relief with the just announced resignation of the Democrat minority 